Welcome back to another video with Piano Music and Repair. <clears throat> Today's video, um, I am restoring this uh, spinet piano here <clears throat> and um, working on the action. And um, I would thought I thought that I would kind of share some um, restoration process information, stuff like that, with y'all. So this is a uh, old spinet piano that was um, about to go to the dump and I um, I picked it up and saved it so I could have a piano in North Carolina at my dad's house because um, he um, he gave his other piano to me and I kind of felt bad so um, <clears throat> thought I'd fix this one up and take it back down there so um, this piano has uh, been sitting in a building for about 10, 10 11 years around there then it was moved to another building and that's where I got it from and um, today I thought I would show you how to um, uh, replace a bridle strap on a piano. One of my ways to do it that's a little less frustrating. But you have to take more apart, but it's only two screws. And that noise upstairs, um, I have my family vacuuming. So, anyway. Um, so, the note that I'm going to be um, putting back on is... Um, uh, be natural right here. This note right here, um, uh, simply because um, you're probably thinking, why didn't I do um, the last note just, just, just because to do it? Um, that where this is a spinet piano, one of the uh, elbows broke, and I got to get that worked on. Um, so yeah. So first, what I'll do is um, I will take the. Um, you can take the uh, uh, whipping out, and to take the whipping out. What you do is, um, what you want to do is you want to get a pair of cutters. Um, and this, you don't you don't have to have it to take the whipping out. It's easier to do it this way. But what you're going to want to do um, is you want to take your cutters and you want to cut that bridle strap. That's what these are. These are the bridle straps. You want to cut that bridle strap. And then you're going to notice that your whole thing flops down. And that's completely normal. And that is because this right here has room to move. It, it will um, move that way. And it falls and it slips. You can kind of see it back there. So, um, once that hangs down and that's out, you want to go to the back of the action. Um, you want to take the action out of your piano. So, you want to go to the back of the action. And... What you want to do is there's going to be a screw right here. Um, you want to take that screw out and be careful of this right here. These are the spoons and they push back on the dampers and it pivots the damper back. So, um, you take uh, that damper out. You just loosen that screw up. Take your, um, not damper, take your whipping out. Unscrew, take that screw out. Make sure and you don't rip it out because you might break something you want to be very easy kind of look and make sure it's under here it's all coming out smoothly and then i have a whole big bunch of whippings and hammers over here stacked up in order so i know which goes where um and these are the whippings right here that's what these are um now if your pen is a spinet it will have this rod if your pen is not a spinet it'll just look like uh that right there without the um, rod. So, once you got that out, you want to come back around the piano action. And, um, you'll notice that there are, there's a screw back in there, but you can't really, it's hard to see it because I didn't cut this strap here. Well, if I cut the strap, I'll do it first so y'all can see. Cut the strap here. All right, now that I got that cut, and you see how it flopped down right there, and it's perfectly normal you can see that jack right there, that right there had room to go. So anyway, I'll push that up, and now it re reveals that screw. That screw right there. And um, you want to, um, once you have your whipping out, 
what you want to do is that screw will be completely exposed and you just want to take that screw out and this whole jack comes up you just want to be very easy and take the jack up now once you got the jack up now it comes on to putting the bridle strap on um the bridle straps that i recommend are the um these little clamp on bridle straps they have a, their um the sh normal strap and when you get to the back it has this clamp on it and um, i'll show you how to put it on um you can put the bridle strap on without taking this these parts off but it's very hard. You have to have another tool to get it in there, and this is just to do it hand-free with just a screwdriver, like your normal garage screwdriver. Um, of course, you got to be knowledgeable of how to take the action out, which, you know, you can look at one of my other videos, and you'll fi figure out how to find out how to take them out, the action out. But anyway, so um, what I want to do is before I take the first thing I want to put back in the piano when I'm putting the strap back on is you want to put the jack on first. That is simply because the the hammer first, sorry. The jack, yeah, same thing. Anyway, you want to put that on first because this piece right here, when you go to um, uh, put your bridle strap on, if your whipping's here and then you put the jack on top, that piece is going to be up and you'll have to take the whipping back out. So it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's kind of confusing. So um, what you want to do is we're going to take... Our jacks, we're gonna go over here and get our jack with our hammer and shank on it, which is this one right here. Mm. All right, so as you can see, this is our second from the last here. Um, and as you can see, that old battle strap is still there. And I'm gonna, we're gonna cut that. Um, and, and it's probably not gonna be that perfect. And and that, that'll, that's okay. It don't have to be 100% perfect. But anyway, what you kinda wanna do now is you wanna take your whole jack and everything, like this whole thing here. And you'll see that where you can see where I cut the strap right there. And um, I'm gonna take my cutters again. And um, there's probably different ways you can take them out. But me, I like to just snip it going really carefully make sure you're not cutting any of this felt um just being really careful going up in there don't cut any felt like i mentioned earlier get up there as far as you can and just snip it just like that and like i said it might not be a perfect cut and you can just keep cutting if you want to to try to get it perfect but like i said don't try too hard because if you try too hard then you're gonna, just going to end up tearing it up and having to replace a lot of stuff. So, um, now that I got done, that done, you can kind of see right here where I just cut it right there. Still a little bit of green sticking out, but hey, it's not that, it, it ain't that bad. It's not going to affect the playing of the piano or nothing like that. It's just sitting there. So, um, now what you want to do is... Um, once that's cut, of course, you can make sure it's it's moving right, um, which this one is. It's not like it's not sticking or nothing. It's moving how it should. So um, and now what you want to do once you um, get that on there is you want to take your bridle strap and you want to um, make sure it's up upward. You don't want to see the clamp right there. You want to make sure the clamp's sticking up. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this clamp, and we're not on the hammer shank, but on the, the sh this little thing right here. You're wanting to clamp it on. Just take it on there and push it. Just like that. And once you get that on there, um, you don't want it to be um, all the way to the end up here. You, you think, you know, you give it some room to go down. Um, it's not good to do. For one, you're, you're like these. These straps have been replaced before, and they're all cattywampus. They're crooked. They've they put them in there weird. They've cut them. And that's why I like the clampons, because you can measure them out easier when you're working with them. So, um, once you got the little clamp on, once you got it clamped on there, you can kind of see how it did it right there. Now, when you got that on there, there's a hole right here. All right, and when you're you're gonna take that strap, you're gonna make sure it's straight. 
like this. Kind of see how my strap is straight. It's not crooked. It's nothing like that. It's straight. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to push that through that hole right here. All right. I'm going to give it a little push it just a teeny little bit. And then we'll pull it through that hole. All right. Now we're done with that part. And now what you want to do is you want to put the jack back in the piano now. And to do that, you're going to put that screw right here. And that's what holds it on. So, um, now we can come back to the piano and put the, um, the jack on. So, back at the piano, you can see right here, I'm going to be putting it in that screw right there. So, um, I'm not going to be able to film it very good. Probably not. Hmm. It's going to be kind of hard to film it, but you're just going to be very easy with it. And, um. Just sit it in there very carefully. Try not to break stuff. Be careful of them right there too. And you're gonna get that. And you're gonna line that up, put that screw back in. All right, now once you got your jack back on, just take your screwdriver and just tighten that screw back up. You can see right here is the screw. And just tighten it up. Try not to scratch or scrape any felts. Make sure everything's going on correctly, of course. All right, don't over tighten it. All right, make sure it's, and it's pretty good. So that's on there. As you can see, it's back the way it should. Make sure your hammer's not swiveling that much at the top. It is supposed to, maybe a teeny bit. Now, once you got your jack on, it's gonna be hanging a little bit that's totally normal and now what we're going to do is we're going to go put our whipping back on and to put our whipping on we just kind of do the same thing it's not that hard to do we will come around to our uh, whipping over here so this is our whipping right here that we're going to be using And what we're going to do, instead of going on the front of the piano this time, we're going to go on the back of the piano. And we're going to go over here to where we just were. If I can scoot my chair over here a little bit more, actually. And then we're going to take our whip in here, um, face it that way. Um, we're on uh, number two here, so... We're going to push it under there and make sure this piece is not sticking out when you go on the other side. So when you get this piece on, before you tighten it up all the way, go on the other side, make sure this piece is not sticking out. You always want it to be in behind, not sticking out. And you'll know, you'll immediately know what I mean when you get back there. When it sticks, when I, when I mean sticking out. So just um, put the, put it in very easily. Don't uh, scrape nothing. Don't, you just be very careful with it. Alrighty, now once you got that on, it's going to hang down like that, of course. And you're wanting to go back to the other side of the piano action here. And then, you can see, we kind of, we're all put back together. And, um, everything looking, pre everything looks pretty good. Um, this is not sticking. And when I meant by sticking out, I mean sticking past these things right here. You don't want it going like this. You want it to be behind it. Um, as you can see it, it's behind it. You don't want it to be out. You want it to be behind that. Um, so, I'm gonna do, and we'll bend that back a little bit. That was pretty far out. As you can see, make sure it's moving like that. You want it to be doing that, which it is. Um, what you wanna do is you want to push this down and when you push that down, it'll, the whole, it'll push the jack back. It'll, you know, watch when I let it back down. If I let it back down, you can see here. See how that quickly, see how that works right there? It gets caught. And if you pull it up, then it can let it go back up. So what you want to do now is this thingy right here. 
you, all you're doing is you're taking the bridle strap and you're just putting it back on here. And that's all you do. Take the bridle strap, put it on that hook. Make sure you push that down first. Push it up there and then put that on the hook and you're literally done. That's all you do. So I'll see y'all when I get that done. Alrighty, and that's all that there is to it. And you'll notice when you move the thing here, when you pull up, you'll hear that. And what that is, is on the back of the action, come around and you'll see these things right here. And these, what these do is it helps push the hammer back. When you push the key down, it pushes the hammer back. And what you're hearing is it raking against the hammer where they're all loose. So what I'm gonna do, it's simple fix. I go to the second one, there's first, here's the second. Take it, first, and second. Take it, and I'll just push it in that hole right there, Will. And sometimes they can be a little difficult. Um, but I'll just take it, and I'll push it right there. And sometimes they can be a little more hard to work with. Sometimes I'll have to bend them out and stuff. That's all there is to it. That's, it's, it's that simple. And come back here and you can see where I have it pushed in right there. And um, that's it. That's all you do. Come back around the piano here. We can kind of see how the action works now. Cause um, if you can watch here, that's how your whole piano works. Right there. Just that. That's it. So, um, it's like I said, it's 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 pretty simple. Um, like I said, make sure that it's clamped on good. Make sure it's straight. It doesn't pop off. And that's all there is to it. Um, have fun with your piano. And um, enjoy playing. Enjoy working. Being technician, whatever you're trying to do. And that's how you replace a bridle strap the easy way. Um, like I said, and you can... Put the bridle straps in with these on. It, you have it's you have to have a tool to get the bridle strap up under the whole jack, and it's just it's kind of tricky to do. And I think it for me it's easier just to take that apart. Um, for some of y'all it might be different. Um, I'm a weird person, and I just think that's a lot easier to me. And when you do that times 88, if you're doing the whole piano, do that times 98 more times, and you're gonna have a nice piano. So nice. Um, and like I said, that's how. That's how it goes. That's how it is right there. And that's how the piano action works. Right there. So have a great day. Um, enjoy working on your piano. And I'll see y'all next time. That's how to um, replace a bridle strap.